Now it's not over yet. There's Russell Crowe, he's with Albert Clift. He was a big South Sydney fan. He was actually a bit, of, a bit of a fan of mine as well. I used to see him after the games a number of times. If you knew the history of the club, you knew who Albert Cliff was. His home was virtually a shrine to South Sydney. He had every bit of ancient memorabilia of South Sydney you could ever imagine. I remember going around to his place and he had South Sydney memorabilia everywhere, but his prized possession was, was the bell. The bell that was used way back in 1908, in April 1908, for the Rabbitohs' first game against North Sydney. Right from the time Murdoch was born, they were born. They didn't get tired. When we got thrown out of the comp, we organised a, uh, a dinner. We need some memorabilia. That's the only way we can get money at this function. He said to George, take the lot. If it's for South Sydney, and that's what we're about. Canterbury wanted to buy it, the Canterbury Football Club. My cousin Peter and I had got Canterbury to the function and we had them bidding against the Hollywood star. To him, having South back in the comp was more valuable than any of the memorabilia he had at home. He did say, look, I doubt very much South are going to get through. We'll never be perfect. We can't either. You're a young kid, you've got a long future ahead of you and I don't think it's going to be here at South. Turned to me and he just said, oh, Jeremy, it's my fault. The fact that Craig doesn't play for us anymore. 